Hello, it's finals day here in Kuala Tranganu for the Monsoon Cup, where our four semi-finalists are about to go out onto the water to compete for their place in the final of the eighth and final stage of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour 2012. We'll start with our first skipper that I can see to my left-hand side, Taylor Canfield. Taylor, can I call you over a second? Uh, Taylor has been drawn just a few moments ago in the semi-final draw up to face Peter Gilmore. He chose you. How did you feel about that? Oh, feeling pretty good. We're, uh, I think we've sailed against him once or twice. So, uh, you know, he, he beat us in, this, uh, in the qualifying stage here in Monsoon Cup, but it uh, wasn't by much. We led around the last winner mark and just made a silly error on the, on the last run. So, you know, we're looking forward to a uh, rematch against him. Of course, prize money up for stakes here and reputation as well. It would be good to beat him being a former four-time world champion, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. But, uh, you know, we're just going to one race at a time and uh, see how it goes. And I think the guys are ready in peak form, so we're going we're gonna to push hard for it. I'll let you get back to your crew. Of course, victorious in Bermuda. We Thank keep you. reminding everyone about that because that was quite a shock. First non-tour card holder this year to win an event. I've got Peter as well, who's just coming up behind our tour director and big bosses as well, who have come to say hello for the semi-final day. Here's Patrick. Uh, Peter, let's have a quick chat with you before you go out on the water. Why did you choose uh, Taylor Camfield there? Um, I think, uh, you know, just looking at the performance of all of the teams, uh, probably Taylor's the, uh, the least experienced here mm -hmm. in, uh, in Trangano. And so, you know, I think from, from that point of view, we, you know, it's probably really an easy choice. I mean, easy to obviously eliminate Ian and then <coughs> came down, <coughs> excuse me, between Phil and Taylor. And so, uh, yeah, we, we just chose Taylor. Is it also fair to say, though, that you've had limited races against Taylor? Could there be potential surprises in store? Oh, look, it always surprises. Uh, you know, like, uh, done limited races against David Gilmore. I got a shock in my life yesterday, so uh, there's always surprises. But, uh, you know, I've, over my career, I've seen, uh, seen them all. Good luck, Peter. We'll let you get back. It was surprising, actually, seeing Peter going up against his son, David, the way they shouted at each other. In fact, the son shouting at the father had us all in gasps at one stage, but that's competitive match racing, I guess. Um, let's get Phil Robertson over. Phil Robertson has been chosen to race. Ian Williams, who has been declared the overall tour champion, and that happened yesterday. Uh, you must have seen all of that celebrations from Ian yesterday, and now you're racing him in the semi-final. Are you at all phased? Uh, not at all. It was actually very distracting. We were just rounding the bottom mark in a very intense match against uh, Morvan when uh, there was a whole lot of yelling and screaming from Ian's boat as they finished. Um, but no, it's going to be a good, really good fight I think out there. He's obviously a very class act and he's just won the last two or three world championships in a row I think. And He's um, yeah, going to be a tough beat but I think we've got it in us and the guys on my team are getting better and better every day and my starts are getting better and better and I think yeah, it's going to be a really, really good fight. Over the duration of the tour, you've obviously come up against him a few times now and you should be able to sort of measure him up. Do you think you know exactly what you're going to come up against today? Yeah, we do. I think we've got a pretty, really, really good idea of what we're coming up against. He's a very tight racer. He likes to keep it close. If he's ahead, he'll just stay one or two bow lengths ahead and that's what he'll do his best at. But I think uh, my team's got a, a bigger bigger head I'd say, bigger bigger box that we sail in and uh, in conditions like today you've got to be you've got to be extending to your puffs and your breeze and I think that's our strength is just sailing the shifts as opposed to his strengths of keeping it close and tight so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see what happens you've got two very different styles of sailing with me and Ian so yeah it'll be a good good semi-final to watch. A good duel. we'll wish you well and we'll go and hopefully have a word with the current Alpari World Match Racing Tour champion. He did it in 2011 and yesterday we saw he has confirmed he's done it again for 2012. We heard from Phil Robertson there as well, he said he thinks his team has a big, bigger head. I knew what he meant. Um, let's get on to Ian Williams then. Ian, let's call you over if we can and just have a final word before we get out on the water. It's getting very hot out here and I know that you'll be looking to cool off out there. It's so hot on deck, isn't it? Yeah, it's really hot because there's no, there's no air movement at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're sweltering here. <laughs> you've got Phil Robertson. You've come up against him a few times. What are you expecting out there today in the semi-final? Oh, well, I think a lot will depend on the conditions. Hopefully we'll get some decent breeze. Um, Phil beat us in the in the round robin, uh, so we, you know we're we're out for a bit of revenge, really. Phil just pointed out that you have very different styles. Is that something that you're constantly aware of and thinking about? 
Uh, we, we really focus on, on ourselves. Um, you know, I think, uh, understand that, that, that the young guys coming up through tend to, to look at the, the, the people at the top and, 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 you know, just like we looked at Peter Gilmore and focused on how to, how to beat him when, when we were coming up through the tour. Uh, I think those guys do look a lot at what we do, but uh, we're mostly focused on our own our own style, our own sailing. Uh, we feel that if uh, if we sail our best, it, it's pretty hard to beat us. We'd like to congratulate you again and GAC Pindar, by the way, on that result yesterday, the overall Alpari World Match Racing Tour champion for this year. So we will see you on that number one podium spot with a trophy later, and we'll wait and see whether it's the Monsoon Cup as well, but good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it for today, but you can watch our live window and see all the finals as they unfold between 3 and 5 p.m. local time on WMRT.com. And, of course, we'll have an evening show as well, which you can watch, which will wind up the entire event. Bye for now.